Hi everyone, Chris here again. Um, recently I've been getting a couple of requests around how Microsoft Social Engagement works with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So I figured this would be a good time to show some cool stuff off. I have to start this demo with a disclaimer. I'm not responsible for what comes up in social engagement. Sometimes some interesting language appears and uh, for those of you that are sensitive viewers, please just close your eyes. Thank you. So what we're currently looking at is Microsoft Social Engagement. This is the um, analytics dashboard with some various information around sentiments and insights by location, various sources, as well as some keywords and phrases. This is all consolidated from loads of social feeds such as um, Twitter, Facebook, various blog articles. And it's brought into one place based on certain keyword searches as well as channels that you follow within the social engagement tool. So I've chosen to follow various channels, um, one of them being our channel over here, Hitachi Solutions EU. This is our actual Twitter feed. And you can see some information has come up about our Twitter feed. Um, we don't have a Facebook page at the moment. All of our uh, sentiment is completely positive. That's obvious. And you can see your, your primary authors over there. I can also drill into the tweets on the right hand side. So you can see recently that um, I, I made a couple of tweets myself over there. That's a demo that we did the other day. And you've got various options to interact with your tweet on the right hand side. So I could assign this post to somebody. I could label this post based on a specific label set within my solution. And I could link this to my CRM solution and we'll talk about that shortly. I can also respond directly to the tweets based on profiles that I've stored in my Twitter feed as well as retweets, like and post link. Now this is based on Twitter. If it was a different channel, obviously these would change. I can also view various conversations and sentiment. So here this is based on positive sentiments. If I wanted to, I could also filter by date. So I could change the time frame in which I'm looking at. It'll just select a random one. And that'll change the amount of information shown on my dashboard. I can do various other things like uh, view activity maps of where the, the geolocations of my tweets or posts. What we'll do is we'll select all topics over here and so open. This gives me some great insight into where people are chatting. So you can see that in the UK based on my buzz map, there's a lot of conversation going on. I could change this to a sentiment map and see where all the negative and positive sentiments is happening. So you can see at the very top, there's some negative sentiments. I could also view the posts relevant to the sentiments over here. So you can see that this highlights uh, a list of the posts around that area, as well as I can interact with those posts if I need to. Other things that we can do within the Microsoft Social Engagement tool is classify and channel various posts. What I've done is I've specifically added various posts to various channels based on keyword search and criteria. You can specify these per channel. You can see that I've got a list of tweets and posts over here. Now, I'll give an example of something that I've done um, with this specific tweet here. I've actually integrated it with Microsoft, so, uh, with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And you can see this is the actual record, the case that was created of the specific post. You've got various options here. So this is one that I've newly done over there. Thanks for the great updates. It's a pleasure as usual. I'll click link to CRM. You can have various instances as well as various records that could be created here. You set this up in the in the settings menu, which is another demo for another day. We'll create a case. Now what we want to do here is generate transactional structured data out of non-transactional non-structured data. I'll create this right now. Excellent. And this post will then be linked to my profile within the CRM solution. Now what I did was you can do, you could do this automatically as well. So you could automatically generate these tweets or posts um, into case records based on criteria. I'm doing it manually um, and that's for demo purposes. If I wanted to, I could remove the specific record. Okay. Or I could view, I could link directly to the record in the CRM solution. So we'll pick one, this one over here and we'll say open record. This and open up dynamic CRM. This is the case that was generated from that specific tweet. So we've got the actual, the social post where it came from over here. If I wanted to, I could really drill in and actually view the post itself. The case title, I chose to populate um, the case title. You can choose what fields you'd like to populate in the form here. Most importantly though is A, based on my subject, it's been able to select the type of process I have at the top here. 
which that would change depending on the, uh, the process selected. The other thing that I've also been able to do is link it up to my contact or customer profile record. Now, if I was associated to, from, from a B2B point of view, if I was associated to Hitachi, the post would be created in the name of Hitachi, depending on how I generated my rules. You can also see that I've got other cases that were created directly from Twitter, or those posts. What I'll do is I'll link directly into my record so you can see what my profile looks like. So this is me, that's my Twitter handle over there, and to prove that I'm not lying, let's open up Twitter, there we go. So there's me, this is my Twitter feed, there's my post, doesn't often happen that I open Twitter in any demos, and um, you can see that I've got, got all my details here. If I move up to the top and I select my social profiles, you can see that this is my Twitter social profile. I've got an influence score of 50, this is generated by the system. And I've opened this record up. You can see all of the cases that have been generated against my social profile. Now, there are various rules that you would need to generate within CRM to manage these social profiles and how the tweets or posts get um, created and transferred into transactional records, case records. Um, that's something that we would help you do or we could teach you how to do. And finally, to view the actual social dashboards, instead of viewing the actual transactional record itself, you can generate a social engagement dashboard within CRM and gain insight into the records um, from social engagement point of view. And if you wanted to, you could change these widgets um, as you needed, so you can determine what the dashboard itself looks like and very easily drill into the information directly from CRM itself. You could easily view this information as well directly from a single record. So if I search for myself again, here I am, and I'll scroll down, I've embedded those widgets on my record. There you go. So this is the social insights for Hitachi Solutions. So to conclude, what we've been able to do is take non-transactional data through Microsoft Social Engagement and convert that to transactional data within Microsoft Dynamics CRM, as well as expose social widgets from Microsoft Social Engagement directly within the CRM solution. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope that makes sense.